Well, hello everyone. Here we are on Christmas Eve. The big day is almost upon us. I'm sure it's a very busy time of the year for so many of you. And uh, because of that, I'm going to be brief in this particular message, this little thought for the day. And I want to begin uh, with a word of thanks uh, in a couple of directions. Uh, first of all, a word of thanks to my fellow contributor, to Guy. Um, Guy, we appreciate uh, all your contributions. Please keep them coming into the new year. And um, thank you for all that you have done. You know, when we started these thoughts for the day, um, almost two years ago now, I was among, among many who thought that they would just be a temporary thing, just for a few weeks or a month until the virus disappeared and then we'd get back to normal. Well, I think we all know what has happened um, and it certainly wasn't that. Uh, so all of a sudden, instead of these being temporary, they've become a bit of a fixture. Uh, we've done hundreds of these thoughts for the day and uh, as I said, I didn't believe that we would still be doing them almost two years later. But of course, there's no point in doing these uh, broadcasts, these little videos. No point in doing them if uh, nobody listened to them. Uh, so can I thank you who uh, listen uh, to this channel and to, to these messages? Can I thank you for doing that? Um, we're not a great number. Um, there's not thousands of us. Uh, we are a small but uh, a very faithful band. And I don't know who all the listeners are. Uh, I know some of you, of course, um, but with the miracle of technology, uh, you could be listening to this at any time uh, from anywhere in the world. So um, we don't know who is watching or when they're watching. We just get a note of the views um, for each particular video and uh, some are more popular than others and uh, sometimes we get more views than others. Uh, but as I said, no point in doing them if people don't listen. So whether you're a regular listener or whether you listen just sporadically, uh, can I give you a heartfelt thanks as well for uh, supporting us by listening and tuning in to uh, Larbert Baptist Church's YouTube channel. Now, not only do I have to say thank you, at this time of the year, I of course have to say Merry Christmas to one and all. Uh, I trust you're looking forward to tomorrow and um, I trust that you will be able to celebrate and enjoy this time of the year. And of course, as we say Merry Christmas, we also hope and trust and pray for a very peaceful, for a blessed and uh, for a wonderful new year as well. We're heading into 2022 very shortly. Now, um, as a thought or as a message, perhaps as a challenge for some, uh, I want to say something and I want to leave this with you uh, for you to ponder. And uh, Again, we're all hoping and trusting and praying that uh, the pandemic, the virus, will soon disappear. Now, as we pray and in the Lord's good time with, in his providence, uh, the virus can disappear. Whether it will or not, I'm not so sure. We just don't know. Only God knows that. Um, so as we go into 2022 it looks as if the virus will be with us for a while yet and uh, of course that's not something you want to hear from me or from anyone else but we are increasingly just having to get on with life and live with the virus. Now what I want to say is uh, very simple and very straightforward because I don't want anyone's life to be ruled by this virus. I am assuming that because you're watching these messages that you are already a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. You're a Christian. Now as a Christian we all know that it's the Lord Jesus Christ who should rule and dominate our lives. So I don't want his place to be taken by this virus. 
You know, friends, when I look back at the last two years, this virus has robbed us of so much of the things that we should be enjoying on a very practical level, level as well as on a spiritual, on a church level. Just on that level, this virus has robbed us of worship in its proper form. It has robbed us um, of, of fellowship, of coming together. It has robbed us of our uh, church program. It has robbed us in our service, the things that we've been doing for the Lord. And an awful lot of that has been uh, diminished, um, has been restricted, or has just quite simply been taken away from us because of the pandemic. Now, don't get me wrong, friends. We have to be sensible. We have to keep safe. We have to take all the necessary precautions. We have to follow advice. But in doing that, I'm hoping that that will mitigate the effects of the pandemic. And it won't rule our lives. It is, if we're honest, it is ruling the lives of so many people. It is ruining the lives of so many people. People being in isolation for such a long period of time. It's not right and it's not healthy. We're not made to be independent people. Uh, we are made to come together. We are made for fellowship and for uh, doing things um, as a body of the Lord Jesus Christ, as his church. So I just leave that with you as a something to think about towards the end of this year and perhaps next year perhaps we will get rid of the virus I'm hoping it does disappear just as quickly and as mysteriously as it arrived and I'm continuing to pray for that but if the Lord doesn't grant that we have to get on with our lives and let the Lord Jesus Christ rule what we do rather than allowing a pandemic to restrict us in so many ways. So there you have it. That's uh, what I'm leaving with you this time. Um, word of thanks, a Merry Christmas, and a thought about not letting the virus rule your life. Okay, off you go. Enjoy Christmas. I hope to see many of you in church over this weekend, Christmas Day, Boxing Day. But wherever you are and uh, however you're celebrating, keep safe, have a very Merry Christmas and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Until that time comes, I'll still say bye for now.